in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install G34 billion 200k Llama fight version from Larry VRH easily on your Windows laptop. But for that to happen, you must have 30 gig of memory on your laptop plus a GPU. If you don't have that, then I would highly suggest you arrange that before you do that, or you can use this on any cloud. For example, you can spin up an AWS EC2 instance with one GPU and more than 34 or 30 gig of memory. Now, G34 billion is a very performant model, but there are some issues which this researcher has found. For instance, while benchmarking some of the open source models, they observed a disparity between results generated by their pipeline and those reported in the public sources. So they did some investigations and digging and found out that various models may employ different prompts, post-processing strategies and sampling techniques. So this is where the variation in outcome comes out. So what they did, their prompt and post-processing strategy remains consistent with the original benchmark and greedy decoding is employed during evaluation without any post-processing for the generated content. They also evaluated the model's capability on a new consistent basis where they adopted the methodology outlined in LAMA2. So that is where the LAMA5 version comes about. Specifically, they included Pika, Sika, Hellaswag, Vino Grande, Arc, OBQA, and CSQA to assess common sense reasoning. They also included few others like BoolQ to evaluate reading comprehension. And there is a lot more they did around math, GSM 8K, and the list goes, goes on and on. So as per the author, the model is pretty performant. So let's see. Uh, for this video, I'm not going to install the full blown one because that is pretty huge. So if you go to files and versions, then you would see that there are a lot of shards around nine uh, gigs, so one to seven. So that is a lot. So I don't have that much memory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply go with my friend Bloke's quantized version, GGUF, which is not that huge. It is around, I would say, uh, still big one, but I'm not going to go with a full blown one. I will just go with Q5KS, which is around 23 gig. Okay, so the tool I'm going to use for this is um, very trustworthy LM Studio. I already have installed it. If you don't know what LM Studio is and how to get it installed, I have it as a detailed video and I'll drop the link in video's description. Once you have LM Studio installed, then on the top left, go to home page, click there and search for G34 billion 200K Llama 5. Then it will show you these results on the right hand side. You can see that all of the quantized models from Bloke or G34 billion 200k Llama fight. I normally go with this Q5ks, but it was big, big. So I'm just going with Q4ks, which is around 19 gig. And as you can see, I already have started the download and download is 51% done in the bottom section. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further. Model is almost downloaded. Let's wait for it to finish. Eventually the model is done. Now let's check out the file. So if you click on this folder icon on the left hand side, this is our file. And as you can see, it is telling us we need 30 dB plus RAM. Okay. Now in order to use it, click on these three dots on the left hand side, dismiss it. And then from the middle, select this model. And this is where if you have an insufficient RAM, it is going to crash. So let's see. So this is a sort of moment of decision here. Hopefully it should be good in my case. I have around uh, more than 30 gig of memory. And you can see on the top left that it is showing you your memory usage. That is amazing. So it is just under 20 gig. Okay, model is downloaded. Now let's play around with it to see if it is a how it performs. The first question I'm going to ask is what is the capital of Australia? And I'm going to let it run so that you could see the response too. So, is, 
here it is processing it and normally the default values are fine but if you want to tinker with the values on the right hand side you can click on model configuration or different values where it will because i already have uh, put the prompt in you can change it but if you can if you want you can change it here so let's wait for it to come back it shouldn't take too long in my opinion so now you can see that it is saying Melbourne is the capital of Australia. And I don't know what this is Jupiter is. So the first one. Okay, I think it is just hallucinating right now. So I'll just stop generating. Um, and now let's ask it another question around coding. So I'll, I'm going to ask you to write a Python program to reverse the list. Now let's see what it does this time. Is it able to reverse produce the program or not? Let's wait for it to come back. The answer looks correct, as you can see. And it also appends some sort of prompt template after it. So I'm not sure uh, what that is, but anyway, let's forget it. Um, so the answer was correct in my opinion. Now I'm going to ask it, bit of an analytical question so I'm asking it in one year yellow paint fades and becomes a white color in my house in one room one wall is yellow and rest of the walls are white should I paint that yellow wall as white now or wait for one year so that it fades into white it also has a bit of a typo so let's see how the model does the reasoning should be pretty interesting to watch when I did that with the G model the 34 billion one without the lamification, then the response was, response was spot on. So let's see how it goes this time. It has come back with the response and the response is that I would suggest waiting for the paint to fade on its own. This will ensure a more natural transition to the color white and avoid any discrepancy in the hue of the paint. Well, I'm not sure about this because I think it should have mentioned some of the inconsistencies because nat natural transition is good, but it doesn't ensure that the paint would look like the same. Anyway, the response from the original G34 uh, billion model was, I, in my opinion, was spot on, whereas this model is okay, but not really uh, there yet. But remember, this is a quantized version. This is not the full bloat version, so may, it might be due to that. Other than that, I believe quite a good model, but needs improvement in my opinion. I'm very keen to hear your thoughts as if you already have used it, share your experience, please, or any other opinion, please put it in the comments. And of course, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.